Yo, what's up? We're the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, and you're watching TheInsider.com. Oh, hey, guys. How oh, are wow. you? What's up? Thank you for coming. I know that you were super busy because you filmed your new music video here in Los Angeles. Tell me what to expect from the video. Tell me all about it. It's pretty awesome. We actually filmed it with a friend of ours named Chris Falkins, who's an up-and-coming director. And um, it was a lot different because we, we did some things we've never done before, like fighting scenes, kind of Fight Club style, which is we all are big fans of that movie and that whole kind of crazy genre. I think it's pretty unique and um, I had a really good time filming it. I think we all did. Anything crazy happen on set? Uh, the whole day was pretty crazy. Was I don't even know. We yeah. uh, heard the song Am I the Enemy probably about 5,000 times. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, you get weird. Like Once you're sitting there doing the same thing for a few hours, we just start losing our minds. Me and Josh were supposed to be doing this fight scene, but it just turned into like love, love making. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. Now your the record has been out, you know, came out in 2011, mm -hmm. and so why do a music video now in 2012 instead of working on a brand new record? It's actually a really good question. I'm glad you asked because it was intentional fully. We wanted the album to come out first. We released a few lyrical videos, which is kind of a new cool thing to do. And we waited on the video because we wanted people to actually listen to the record first before just saying, okay, now we're going to focus on this one song. Now we're saying, okay, this is the song we're going to focus on. Hopefully you guys dig it. Here's a video. And, you know, that's just the strategy. And, I mean, whatever. I'm going to try something new. You guys have been a band for almost 10 years now, and you've been, like you said, up and down and around and around. What's your favorite memory um, of performing ever? Um, it's probably different for everyone. For me, I'm going to say um, we played a show for the troops in Cuba, Guantanamo Bay. I don't know, we definitely just support um, the troops. You know, obviously they don't make decisions on what we have to do. They're just people doing what they're told. So that's a big deal to us. My grandpa was a Marine. Joey's dad was a captain in the Navy. So for me, the coolest memory was right on the water. You know, we're civilians in, in, in Cuba. You know what I mean? Like. That's almost impossible. Not many people can actually say that. That's my favorite so far. On the flip side, what's the biggest disaster that's ever happened to you guys on stage? Yeah, I don't know. We've had people, we've fallen off stages, just typical stuff. Uh, had some interesting stuff thrown on stage. Actually, a couple years ago, I feel like it must have been. Some, I think it might even be a dude, I don't know. Someone threw some panties on stage. And we still have them to this day. Yeah. I would love to meet the girl who sent, who threw those up. Who knows? Who I know. Knows? Where? Are, if you're out there, let us know. We still got them. She's a huge part of our life now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we all know her really well. <laughs>